Let me show you how to go through the initial configuration, the first setup on OnePlus 15. And once you turn on your phone, you will see this screen over here. And what you have to do is simply tap on this arrow. First, we need to select the language that we want to use. In my case, of course, I'm going to choose English and let's go next. Then we can choose the region. So in this case, what we're going to do is I'm going to select United States. There we go. And let's go next. Over here, we have some information, some legal information, of course, so we can tap next. If you insert your SIM cards, then you can choose which SIM card you want to use. But that is only if you actually have two SIM cards. So in my case, I have to choose which I want to use uh, by default for mobile data. Then we have this screen where we can set up our OnePlus 15 with another device. So you can pretty much transfer um, as much as possible, as much data as possible. And uh, by choosing either Android device or iPhone or iPad, this actually depends what you had, of course, so far. But if you want, you can perform a clean setup by using this skip button. And this is what I'm going to do. Now we can connect to Wi-Fi. You can either try to find your uh, network on this list. You can also refresh the list. And you can also use the Wi-Fi QR code scanner by using this QR code uh, icon, this QR icon, I mean, in the upper right corner. You can also skip if you don't want to connect to Wi-Fi, although there is a chance that if you don't have a SIM card, then of course you won't be able to proceed. So let me just quickly uh, connect to my network. So after entering the password and clicking on OK on the keyboard, we can then proceed by pressing Next. And we need to wait for the next uh, menu to appear on our screen. After that, we have once again a an option to copy apps and data from our previous device, or you can also use your Google account in order to get a backup. So if you actually use a backup of your data by using your Google account, then you should be able to get the data. In this case, if you go next, you will most likely have to sign into your Google account and then you will see all your backups. And if you choose not copy, then of course we can just proceed with the clean setup. And uh, most likely we will see the Google sign in page as well. So let's see if that happens. Yeah, there we go. So of course, now we can enter our credentials over here. You can also create a new account in case you need to do that. And if you want to, you can also skip this for now. And later on in the settings, of course, you can easily sign into all your accounts. In my case, I did decide to sign in. And in this case, I also need to choose uh, who will be using this device. So of course, in my case, I will be using this device. So let's go next. And then we need to agree to Google Terms of Service. And now once again, we need to wait. Now in here, we can choose the unlock method for the screen lock. So of course, you can set up the screen lock password over here pretty much immediately. You can also set up the fingerprint sensor and the face unlock feature. Um, but just like before with other uh, things that we see during the setup, we can just skip this. And later on in the settings, we can actually set up the password and fingerprint and face data if you decide to use it. So feel free to go through the setup over here if you want to, of course, set up the password. In my case, I'm just going to skip it because right now I don't really need to set up the lock screen password. So let's go ahead and choose later. Then we have Google services where we have the location. We can also allow scanning, allow phone, ver uh, phone number verification. We can also send usage and diagnostic data. So even if you use location, what I can recommend you to do is disable this scanning, this Wi-Fi and Bluetooth scanning. It doesn't have to be enabled all the time. And believe me or not, it can actually save a little bit of battery and when these features are disabled. And of course, whenever uh, you decide to use and these uh, features or if there is like uh, an app that wants to use these features, of course, you can temporarily turn it on. I'm going to just uh, disable everything over here. But in your case, go through this list and decide by yourself which features you actually want to use. And once again, in most cases, you can actually just um, turn these features back on in case uh, you want to in the future. Then we have the backup option. So you can choose which data should be backed up using your Google account. You can back up photos and videos and other device data that is listed over here. And you can tap on these checks in order to exclude or include something. In my case, I don't really need to use backups. So I'm just going to choose don't back up. Then we have the choice of the default browser and the search engine. First with the browser over here, we have the list of different browsers. Now, if you don't know which one to choose, if none of this tells you anything, uh, then the most popular choice is the Google Chrome. So you can pick that and let's press set as default. And then the default search engine, which of course the most popular one is the Google. So I'm going to select it as well. Now, in this case, we can just leave the setup right here, right now. 
and go to the home screen most likely or you might see some additional setup um, that uh, involves uh, some changes to, to, to the OnePlus or some OnePlus features that you might turn on or off. Um, in this case, I'm just gonna press continue just to show you what is uh, coming, what is next. So in this case, we have Gemini introduction, so we need to press continue. And you can actually set up the Hey Google voice recognition. So if you want to be able to activate the Gemini by saying Hey Google out loud, then of course you can press turn on. You will have to say a couple of sentences out loud and so on and so forth in order to set it up. I don't really use this feature, so I'm going to tap on no thanks. You can also set up uh, Google Pay, so if you wish to use your phone to pay with it, then of course we can uh, set up the, the Google Wallet app over here, or Google Pay actually, and you can add your card in here. You can also do this later by using the Google Wallet app quite easily, so I'm going to skip that for now. And we have some additional things that we can do um, before we finish this setup. Uh, you can add another email account or you can change the wallpaper, but of course for now I don't feel like uh, I don't have that need to to change these things Now over here we can also join the red cable club. This is a club made by OnePlus of course This is like a membership program uh, So if you want to have like extended warranty third-party benefits and so on and so forth Then you can easily join in uh, Probably we can also later on join in if you skip this for now uh, So I'm gonna skip we have recommended services like automatic update overnight, which I'm gonna actually turn off just for the sake of uh, my um, incoming videos, of course, but in your case, you actually might want to use automatic updates. We have the global search, weather services, and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna keep everything on. Let's also enable this, phone manager services, and so on and so forth. And uh, yeah, so there's also quick connect, which I'm gonna turn on as well. But of course, once again, you want to go through this list and decide by yourself what you actually want to use. And let's press agree. Now we have the screen color mode. We can use natural colors or standard colors. I actually like natural colors more. So I'm gonna choose that and let's go next. Then we have the navigation. So you can either use the gestures for navigation or you can use buttons depending which one you prefer. You can also choose the button layout so you can choose where the back button should be in this case. So I'm gonna go with buttons actually and let's press done. We are all set up, so let's press let's go. And there we go, we have our home screen. Here we have a little introduction to notifications and quick settings, of course, we can easily open it. So now what you can do is just whatever you want to. You can download new apps, you can set things up by going to settings, for example, and so on and so forth. The initial configuration is completely done. If you're looking for more guides for OnePlus 15, then be sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe.